I'm ready. <laughs> what up? Let's get to it. So guess what, man? Yeah. First off, <laughs> the 49ers beat the Detroit Lions. Oh, yeah. What a great epic comeback down 17 points. First off, we got to start by shouting out Brock Purdy, right? Brock Purdy, man, proved all the doubters wrong, made a name for himself, had a great performance. Even though he struggled the first half, struggled, missed, missed a lot of throws when they counted most. When it was time to get it done, Brock Purdy got it done, huh? Can't take that away from him, even though, no, <laughs> it's too early to call him Joe Montana, et cetera, et cetera. But he's Brock Purdy. He creating his own legacy, dog. <laughs> How many people counted him out? Said he wasn't good enough. Everyone wanted to see what he could do, how he would perform when a team is down big in a big game, et cetera, et cetera. Huh? He didn't only perform, man. He balled out. <laughs> he didn't only perform, right? <laughs> he balled out, baby. So shout out respect to Brock Purdy, dog. Put the team on his back. Second half, third, fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter, made drives, kept drives alive with his legs, <laughs> with his legs, dog. Delivered some big throws under pressure, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> you got to respect the dude. You got to love his fright, his determination, huh? Can't take nothing away from Brock Purdy, dog. <clears throat> Showed the poise, you know. Kept a stoic demeanor. Didn't get rattled, didn't fold. All the pressure on under the big lights, dog. <laughs> Season on the line, Super Bowl appearance on the line, dog. What did Brock Purdy do? Did he cave in like Kirk Cousins, like we know Kirk Cousins does, huh? No. Brock Purdy stayed calm, man. He stayed cool. He stayed prepared for the situation. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing else about Brock Purdy, baby. Not nothing, man. Brock Purdy did his job. Huh? He led his team to a victory, huh? Everybody counted everybody counted the Niners out. Huh? Even me. I thought it was over with. After that first after that first half the Detroit Lions came up with, dog. Man, what a beautiful performance by Brock Purdy, man. Beautiful performance, man. Gotta respect it. Gotta love it, man. And side note, <laughs> Kirk Cousins would never be a Brock Purdy. Kirk Cousins could never be Brock Purdy, dog. Huh? But before I get into that, let's talk about the Niners' performance as a whole, huh? As a whole team. Shot first off, shout out to their defense, dog, huh? Second half, their defense stepped up, man. Them boys fly around. Them boys fly around, dog. Fred Warner, Greenlaw, the secondary stepped up. And we know Dan Campbell, the Lions, do what they normally do. They choked, man. They choked. Dan Campbell got too aggressive once again. Huh? Their offensive coordinator uh started had some questionable play calls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But he's still a solid play caller. Can't take that away from him. But Dan Campbell, Mr. Dan Campbell, Mr. Too Aggressive sometimes, too emotional sometimes, huh? Gave the game away, dog. <laughs> Niners started creeping back, creeping back, man. And what do you know? The Detroit Lions blew it. But are you shocked for real? Like I said, during the whole game, I went live during the game. Go check that live out too, man. <laughs> Talked about numerous other things as well. Heavy. I'll get into that more later <laughs> as the videos come through, dog. Believe that. Mm, big school here. But I talked about the Lions were in a different situation, you know. They were in unusual territory. They were they they never been in that situation in a long time, right? NFC Championship. It looked like the nerves got to them. They were nervous second half. They couldn't finish it. They couldn't put them away. <laughs> the pressure was on, and they couldn't handle the pressure in that big moment, dog. It's different when you got a team like the Niners, a vetted team, been to multiple NFC Championships, been to Super Bowls, right? 
They know how it feels to win those big games. They know what it takes to win those big games. Their head coach knows how to dial in, right? Zone in and earn and get the victory. But the Lions, nah, they never been there before. And it showed, man. <laughs> it didn't show. They couldn't handle the pressure. When the 49ers crowd got crazy, got hostile, maybe violent, huh? Crazy. They couldn't handle it, man. They folded. They caved in. <laughs> they caved in. But great job by the Niners defense. Everybody counted them out. They stepped up when they needed to, man. Created turnovers, et cetera, et cetera. That's the playoffs. That's championship football, man. That's why you got to love it. <laughs> Nothing like football, right? <laughs> now, let's get to Kirk Cousins, man. <laughs> First off, once again, he can shove that contract up his ass. Nobody paying him 90 mil for two years. Are you crazy, baby? 90 mil, two years? Are you crazy? Are you out your mind, dog? <laughs> Kirk Cousins will never be a Brock Purdy, huh? <laughs> he can't run. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing Brock Purdy can do. What can Brock Purdy do? I mean, what can Kirk Cousins do besides sit in the pocket when the pocket is perfect and pick a defense apart? Shit, any quarterback can do that. Joe Flacco can do that. <laughs> you give any quarterback time, they can pick a defense apart. Baker Mayfield, the list goes on. Jared Goff, that don't make Kirk special. Huh? Nothing about Kirk says special, says leader, says superstar playmaker, man. Huh? Winner, winner. He's never been a fucking winner, dog. Nothing about him, baby. Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy. Now I'm taking Brock Purdy over Kirk in any situation, any time, anywhere, any game, dog. Don't care what they talking about. Brock Purdy? Second year in, already winning big games, already showing what he can do. Facing the pressure head on, not bowing down, cowing out like a little punk. Then got the nerve to ask for millions or millions. Huh? Again, when he's done nothing, though. Brock Purdy has already had a better career than Kirk Cousins has had. Huh? Huh? One more important pivotal games than Kirk Cousins has already. You can't even compare the two, dog. And all these Kirk stands and fans, oh, we love Kirk. Pay him his money. The Vikings wouldn't be nothing if it weren't for Kirk. Kill that noise, baby. Huh? Are you kidding me? Excuse me, man. Kirk Cousins could never be a Brock Purdy. Hmm? We we can just we can just break that down with the with Brock Purdy's ability to run, to run and gun, huh? To get out that pocket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get out that pocket, improvise, be a field general. You see how many times he took off, used his legs. People didn't know he was that athletic, but he showed it. He put it on display. He put it on display, dog. Athleticism, athleticism, huh? Some Kirk Cousins could never show, has never shown. Especially now, torn Achilles, Kirk's done. It's a wrap. He's a sitting duck, bro. Send him to Atlanta. Send his ass to Atlanta, bro. You kidding me? <laughs> but shout out Brock Purdy, man. I will take Brock over Kirk anytime, anywhere, any game, any day. And I stand on that 10 toes, huh? But shout out to the 49ers, dog. 49ers versus the Chiefs. Who you got, man? <laughs> and the Detroit Lions, sure. They blew it again. That's my take, my opinion on it, man. Let me know how you feel about the video. Feedback is much appreciated. Fire them comments up. Fire them comments up, huh? We here. Big score here. Score Vikes forever. Win, lose, or draw, man. Like that. <laughs> 1,000. 1,000, huh? Yeah.